Star is Alpha 3.19 hit the PTU not too long ago and it is progressing very well. What I want to talk about in this video is the updates that they made when it comes to mining, when it comes to the economy and the impact that it has made. Right. So when we when we talk about this, right, we're looking at the selling prices. They made some updates on the selling prices of the commodity all across the board. So right now, even in, 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 in respective of people that are in the trading uh, profession, they can make some really good profits. I've seen some really good profits with bows, really good profits with diamonds and um, other ores as well. So it's not just quantanium people are going to be looking for. It's um, essentially you can make some decent profits in almost any ore that uh, you can find out there. So um, that's really interesting. Another thing is they made some updates when it comes to refinery efficiencies and costs and and um, that's also going to be interesting. We're gonna have to go out and, and scour the different refineries to see where the buffs and debuffs are. So that's going to be interesting in terms of um, where you decide to set up shop when you wanna mine and where you're gonna go refine your stuff. When it comes to component stats, they made some updates on all of the equipment. When it comes to um, when we talk about the mining heads, the subcomponents, the gadgets, all of those things have been touched and um, I think it's for the better. The way they've done it is the fact that you'll want to decide on, okay, I'm going to do um, gold mining today, right? And in order to do that, you need to find the proper mining head that gives you um, some benefits when in terms of uh, mining for gold um, you're gonna have to probably find the right subcomponents that will help you with instabilities in that type of rock and um, as well as the gadgets that's gonna also go along with that so we're gonna have to build our ships specific to the type of ores that we're looking for as well as the sizes as well so um, right now as a prospector you won't be able to go out and, and tackle any any rock now there is some large rocks out there we before the, the sizes of rocks were around like 8,000 9,000 um, in mass um, but now we're seeing we, the largest we've seen right now is around 35,000 so that is really interesting and even if you approach it even with the mole we did approach one of those with the mole and based on the mining heads we had on the mole all three it still said it was impossible so it's going to be very important that you have the right equipment with you in order to tackle any particular rock you want to fracture. So um, that is really interesting. And the fact that they made some changes to uh, mining efficiencies when it comes to the mole itself, right? So if you have the mole and all three mining heads are engaged with the same rock, you get some buffs with that. And um, that's really interesting. Another interesting piece is the fact that they made a redistribution of the resources all across so we're gonna have to scour the entire star system to find out where resources are now and once we've attained that information we're gonna then we're gonna have to figure out where to actually refine in addition to that where to actually go and sell so that's gonna be very interesting right so if you find um, a specific ore that's really abundant in one side of the star system you can mine it there and then you have to find the right refinery that does really well at refining that specific ore and then you have to find where in the SAR system to actually sell it to make the most money possible so it really made things more interesting and uh it's it's uh something that i think uh is, is really good with 319. before we move forward i like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of may and this time is a game package for the 100i in order to participate all you got to do is subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of may all right so let's continue so recently in star season live some some new information that we've gotten is the the direction that they're going is they're trying to fill in all of the um aspects of um mining itself when it comes to extraction when it comes to refining you know that uh, there's a new ship that's going to be coming which is the expanse which is going to be the refinery ship and we already have haulers and when it comes to selling and trading as well so they eventually want to have the full ecosystem out there to really see mining operations happening with players this way you don't really need to go to um, a, a refinery station but you could actually have refining out on the field as well and have 
haulers coming in and out to actually take the uh the goods over to sell and also having escorts as well so it's going to make things uh, much more interesting they also mentioned the idea of crafting is something that they're also working on and that's going to be something interesting once we get our hands on that so we're gonna to have to look into manufacturing and play our own facilities and those kind of things it's really exciting stuff hopefully we see it sooner than later you guys let me know your thoughts what do you guys think about 319 and the new update to mining and the economy let me know in the comments down below i'll see you on the next video